Well guys, it's officially springtime. We made it through the winter and some stuff showed up. So we have the trusses, all of our posts, laminated uh, 18 foot posts. We have our ridge cap and uh, roof flashing. And then under here is all the lumber. And then uh, just yesterday we got the, the roof steel, 23 foot uh, charcoal black. Yeah, they only forgot a few pieces, but everything's here. I ended up buying an old billboard sign as a tarp, and it's working really well. So, we're going to get moving on this a little bit. Oh, we also have our um, uh, wet set uh, brackets from Midwest Prim Column, just like are in our buildings. But I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, you know, with the freeze and thaw, my gravel is not that tamped anymore. Um, so I'm going to, well, this is still a little moist from the morning um, dew, which you want at wet pack uh, gravel if you can. I'm going to, I'm going to run up and down this. If I can get this thing to fire up, we'll get that tamped in. And then I got some other tasks. Um, Bobcat's leaking a little bit. I just got, the uh, tire was off the bead. So I filled that up last night, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I ended up burning through almost all my firewood, and we got enough more, you know, enough to do some more. And then we should uh, try to get a fire going today and burn some of this up and push that pile up. But yeah, so let's see if we can get this thing off of here and fire it up. do the rag trick real quick. I don't know if this will work in a small tank, but I've seen a lot of guys do this. Or we can just full send on it and see what happens. Gas is also real expensive, so we gotta ration it as best we can here. All right, we're switching to 4K. Hopefully this footage turns out all right. some stakes, fix some of the survey lines, some flagging tape. We're gonna test this thing out on that drain line. Plumbing gloves, extension cord, just fix the end on it. Let's do it, guys. So here's my issue here, so I put this pipe in, it runs all the way down the hillside there, and uh, the best we could figure was to put a bucket here, try to make like a collection point, and then that would drain down, but as you can tell, it's, it's backed up, so I think I'm clogged in there, I think if we can snake it, 
we might be able to get this little spring here to run a bit better. It's also running off to the side right here. So I'm going to get my pickaxe and kind of drag that down once we get this flow in to make it better. And then what I'm going to do, I think, is run a French drain this way from this point all the way down. Hopefully I can get enough slope on that so that it runs quarter inch per foot. So it's about 100 feet run this way. So that would be um, 25 inch drop over 100 feet. So I might get my laser out and try to measure that and then I'm gonna run that down that way so it goes around the building. Hopefully I'll dry up this area pretty good. And then this area here, hopefully if we snake this, you know, we can get a little bit better. So I got my snake here and try not to get it super muddy. I mean, we can clean it off, but. So I have ran extension cords from the house a few times, but I do have my 5,000 watt generator here. I just fired it up. We'll try to run that today for this guy. Got a mouse nest in there. Well, my battery died. I don't know how that happened. Hopefully I got that on film. But if not, I'll just do a recap. I'm having trouble with this. I had to do a cut there. Well, I actually ripped it. But here's the other end. It's draining really nice. It's cleaning itself out, so that, I'm really happy with that. I thought it was gonna be clogged. A lot deeper down but it was just at the just at the top there okay so if my footage didn't show it what i did was got my drain cleaner up and uh unplugged that pipe so yeah i think now we will get my pickaxe and fix that and a shovel all right so the problem we got here is stream's kind of splitting. This is a spring. I want to direct it more right here. So it goes straight. I think that's flowing a little better now. Still getting a little, I can see a little trickle here, but it might just be residual. I'm gonna let the sun dry it out a little bit and uh, keep an eye on it today. Or maybe that's just like max capacity there, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. This is a lot better than it was. Plumbing rig. We're gonna do it again because I think it filled up a little bit of leaves for me starting that up.
I had to use the spade bit and I heard it. It was definitely a stick and leaves. Like I pulled this one out and definitely had some mulch in there. I might want to build a screen for that to prevent that stuff from going in there, but I also don't want it to get clogged up. So put my rock back on. Take some of this out. Get shut Jenny down. She works better on choke. We definitely had a little spill there, so this water's from that. But let's see how she's flowing. Right, yeah. Way better. I've got my salt fence down there. And that's just that pipe I had that was cut in half to kind of protect it as I'm dumping dirt on here but I'm probably gonna add another section to that bring it down another 10 feet and then, uh, and then fill this in a bit better because I got to go another two feet I'm debating if I'm gonna take those three trees out I might I might just take those three out and then call it a day and grade this all in real nice All right, the job is done for now. Let's see if we can get the bobcat fired up or something. Still getting some flow here. I wonder if that's from my, my overflow. Let's see, where's this coming from? It's probably from it trickling back. Did I just overflowed it right here? That thing's dead, so. Let's see. We're getting a little seepage here, but nothing crazy, so. Well, now that we've stopped that, I think I can dig this a little deeper because I want to get the sawmill up further. And then maybe try to make a staging ramp for the logs. I don't know. I can roll them on and get some of these big ones up next time I have the excavator. Because I can't really lift them. Or we get this back and then I build a staging ramp here to load and then roll them on. That's probably what I'll do. But I gotta start regaining some of my landing here. I'll we'll spread this topsoil out later and we'll fix that. So. Alright. I'm gonna go clean this up and. Uh, Maybe get the bobcat running, maybe start fire. Alright, later guys. So a few things over here. Got some more brush to clean up. I want to mark more trees I want to cut down. And then you can see I've got some a um, little bit of seepage here. So what I'm going to do is cut back uh, and make this uh, downgrade right at the base. Try to run it on the side. Um, and then I'm going to reinforce my stakes here. I think I did a decent job of grading this with some guessing. But...
All right, got a load of number three sandstone. Gonna redo this road base. Guy came four hours later than he was supposed to, but we get a thing.
Nope. All right, last time I did this, it took me hours. This time I used my head a little bit more. So what I ended up doing was pulling the grease circ off the back, tapping, uh, getting everything lined up obviously with the jack, and come along here off the man lift, kind of pulling it till it lined up, and then tapped it just a little bit until it bit on the taper, lined up. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I need more shims in there. That's why this broke in the first place, but it did last about three years of some pretty heavy abuse so the old bolt before it sheared that is so I will tighten up that side also but I think I'm gonna cut some split shims so I can slide them down over and maybe tack them to the sides so they don't fall off I don't know what do you guys think about that but uh, now what I gotta do is pull this bolt back out and put a washer on it because this happened last time there's actually supposed to be a spacer there I'll show you on the other side but I lost it when you know the bolt sheared on the old on the last one that just fell out so you can't really grab the engage the threads with a washer on there so i have i like use that to suck the taper in and lock it and i'll put some pressure with the jack to kind of force that taper to lock back this out hopefully put a washer on it and suck it back in so if i can find a bigger washer so here's the old pin. You can see where the bolt sheared. That's like a 5 8 bolt. And uh, yeah, you can see a taper here. Um, that bolt head sheared off because it got loose, I'm assuming, because the shims aren't correct. But it did last like three years. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, the threads only start like here. You have past the taper, so you can't really grab it with that washer. But uh, yeah, I'll probably drill this out and keep it as a spare but they were only 20 bucks this one does have that's not a groove it's just a wear mark so 20 bucks it's well worth just buying another one all right let's see if we can find a washer get this thing back together maybe haul some gravel so i always keep every wash i have a habit i keep old stuff so I got this really heavy duty one here. I almost drilled out. These would make some nice shims too. This one's really thick. Uh, but uh, this looks like the right hole size if I stack four of these together. That feels pretty good to me. I should. I'm second guessing putting the shims in there. I probably should drill these out with a step bit. And I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm gonna drill out one of those washers later and slide it down in and tack it to the other washer. But it's not worth pulling this apart done this too many times i'd rather break another one to be honest with you the other one lasted three years those washers kind of suck though i don't want to break the bolt 
Alright, we'll try that. Lots of grease, lots of grease. Red and tacky. Did it. 